Hi, I'm James Gully. I'm a senior investigator in the intramural program of the NIH. I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about ethics of conduct of research. So science is about the truth. It's about locking what is verifiable in and understanding and explaining the limitations what, of what can't be proven. All scientists should really be committed to the responsible use of the process known as scientific method to seek new knowledge. All research staff in the intramural research program should maintain exemplary standards of intellectual honesty in formulating, conducting, and presenting research as befits the leadership role of the National Institutes of Health. So why is scientific integrity so important? The scientific community and the general public rightly expect adherence to the exemplary standards of intellectual honesty in the formulation, conduct, and reporting of scientific research. Without a high scientific st standard of scientific integrity, the scientific community and general public may become victims of research misconduct. And that's what we're going to be talking about today in this introduction. So what is research misconduct? It is three things. First thing, it's defined as fabrication or the making up of data or results and recording or reporting them. The second key component of scientific misconduct is falsification, which is slightly different. That's the manipulation of research materials, equipment, or processes, or changing or omitting of data or results such that research is not accurately represented in the research record. And finally, there is plagiarism. This is the appropriation of another person's ideas, processes, results, or words without giving appropriate credit. We're going to be talking about each of these in this series. So scientific misconduct does not include an honest error or a difference of opinion. Scientific collaborators cannot plagiarize from each other and we'll come back to that in, in the fourth session. So in summary, the ethical conduct of science is your personal responsibility. You must not commit falsification or fabrication of data or plagiarize the work of others. Performing scientific research as, is a career as a, is a privilege. By performing it in an ethical manner, you will maintain the highest standards of scientific integrity. Next, we're going to move to the questions. So this is the questions in part one. What is research misconduct? Is it removing a data point to make a graph look better? Is it putting in the best guess at what data should be if you don't have the exact information? Is it using somebody else's data without giving the credit? Or is it all of the above? And the correct answer is all of the above. So remember that science is truth. We're here to build upon the truth and without a firm foundation we can go in ways that are not consistent with knowledge and understanding. So it is important for us not to have scientific misconduct. Thank you for listening today.